the science paper focuses on uh, research that we've carried out on Iceland since uh, 1991, looking at the concentration of aerosols in the atmosphere. And aerosols are fine suspended particles carried by winds in the atmosphere. The, the most interesting thing that come out of the study was that there were extremely high, periodically there were extremely high concentrations of dust in our samples. So these extremely high concentrations of dust have a number of implications. First of all, the source of the dust is related to uh, glacier activity on Iceland. So we're seeing the output of these glaciers, and the glaciers, as you might know, are retreating as a result of, glo of global warming. Pulses of dust get carried out over the ocean, and a lot of it is deposited in the North Atlantic Ocean. The dust brings with it iron, which is an essential micronutrient in the marine biological processes. You can't have photosynthesis without some iron present. So this dust coming from Iceland is providing iron, which could stimulate uh, productivity in the North Atlantic. Anything that modulates productivity in the oceans modulates the concentration or exchange of CO2 between the atmosphere and the ocean. One of the consequences, then, of the, our study is that it shows that large quantities of dust are flown out of Iceland periodically, frequently, deposited to the ocean, where it could be playing a large role in primary productivity and the carbon cycle. The other aspect of the study that's interesting uh, relates to actual glacier processes themselves. We, the glaciers are melting. We know the glaciers are melting. They're retreating because of global warming. But the dust itself contributes to the melting process because every time you have one of these dust storms, these huge clouds of dust coming out, a lot of the dust is deposited on the snow, on, on the glacier. Uh, and what that does is it uh, increases the rate of melting of the glacier. At the images of the glaciers on Iceland, they're ext extremely dirty. You would think they're white and pristine, but they're actually extremely dirty. And so <clears throat> you have the process of the glaciers retreating uh, because of global warming. And the dust that's resulting from these retreating glaciers is itself contributing to the increased rate of melting of the glaciers themselves. One of the outcomes of the paper is that it's sort of a, an example of how these processes may be working on a global basis. So it's not only you know, that we show that this is occurring in Iceland, but we would expect to see the same processes occurring wherever there are glaciers and, 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 and as I said, all the glaciers are, are, are retreating. So we would expect then that worldwide, you would expect to see the same sort of phenomenon. The glaciers retreat, you get more dust, some of the dust gets deposited back on the glacier and enhances the rate of melting of the, of the glacier.